Hello. Today I have come to tell you about a story, about a legend, about a tale, about a story, a tale of sorts, a legend, and the legend is, it's about the story of the woman who put the man in the moon. It goes something like this. There was a girl, Kwa. She was walking through the forest, looking for a proper tree to cut down. She had an axe in her hand. She was a cutting woman, always looking for a tree to cut down. And an axe in her hand since the age of six. And then she sought in the distance a proper tree to cut down. But in front of it, there were three dead lion cubs. Then she went to buy to another tree to hide. Because, I mean, the lion cubs, what, what are you going to do? Are you going to stay and talk to the lion cubs? No, you're not going to. You're going to go to a tree near the tree where the lion cubs are, and you're going to hide. After seeing the cubs lying there, the mother came back, but she had some leaves, and she chewed them up, and she spit them out <laughs> in the little cubs' mouths, and they sprung back to life. And then she was like, I bet this is a good tree now that it has saved the lives of these cubs. I wonder what else it could save. So she took the tree back and she planted it in her garden. Now what I'm gathering from this is it was a very lightweight tree. Probably not firmly rooted. Or else she was very good at derooting trees. Which is a very hard thing to deroot a tree. You can't pull it with a truck. It takes forever with an electric motorized saw. So, I'm going to assume because it was a magical tree that it magically sprung up. And went into her yard. Once it was in her yard, she began chewing up leaves. <coughs> and spitting them out into dead people. And these dead people sprung up and they began to go about their everyday lives humans. She found a cat dead in the middle of the river, so she thought to herself, I'm going to give some magical leaves to spit into the cat's mouth. She took a leaf and she spit right into the cat's mouth and the cat sprang up and it was alive and well and went about its everyday normal life in peace. Now Kuo, she came to a village in which there was a prince that was injured from war, thinking to herself, I have some magical leaves that I can spit in people's mouths and heal them. She took one of her magical leaves that she could chew up and spit out and heal them, and put it in her mouth to chew up and <coughs> spit in his mouth and heal him. And he came too. But when he came to, he's like, I don't really, I don't really want to be in a relationship with you. We just met, I ju you just spit a leaf at my mouth and resurrected. I'm grateful, but I don't know if I want a relationship. She said, well, you know what, I could take the leaf right back out of your mouth. It's like, alright, I mean, I guess we'll go into a committed relationship. One day, a band of robbers broke in. They took the prince and they killed him, and then they took his intestines and they ripped them out and threw them into the river. They threw a lot of dead things into the river, pots of dead things into the river, rather. Can't explain that. And then the wife got home. She tried taking the leaves in her mouth and chewing them and spitting them out. Because there were no intestines. Excuse me. Because there were no intestines or vital organs, she could not yield her husband. So the dog, the kind-hearted dog, offered his intestines, and immediately he died. I mean, cat. The kind-hearted cat gave up the intestines and then died immediately. And the woman she made intestines out of clay, and the dog was resurrected once again. I mean, cat. Cat was resurrected once again. But the prince was never. Never again fully right ever since the dog gave up his intestines to put inside of him. It's almost as if 
people aren't supposed to have the intestines of dogs or something. Quoth, well, she did not like this new knighted prince. He wouldn't do anything to provide for her family. Maybe I should have mentioned this earlier, but the tree told Qua she had to be watered with the purest water of all. She was watered with dirty water. Well, she would spring up into the sky. Way up into the sky. She would no longer be at Earth. However, the knighted prince, not acting right with the dog intestines in his body, watered the tree with dirty water. As, as he was out there watering, pouring the water on the tree, the dirty water, all of a sudden, the tree sprang up to the heavens. But the knighted prince, he was hanging off because he was not a normal person, because he had dog's intestines in him. He was a little abnormal, as I would say. And then, you know, Qual did one of the classic, oh no, but she didn't really mean it, because I mean, he wasn't proper lover, I bet. But that is the story of the woman who put the man on the moon. And in a way it's a tale of being grateful. In a way it's a tale of uh, responsibly using power, responsibly healing others. But in a way it shows that no matter age, gender, relation, you could be a dog. People do make deep-seated mistakes, and that is a constant throughout humanity. I'd like to leave you on that note. The story of, the legend of, the woman who put the man on the moon. There's also a tree up there, so I guess it should be called the tale of the story of the woman who's responsible for putting the man and the magical tree on the moon. There we go. That is it. This is the end of the movie. Right now. Right now. Now, now.